The NBA season has officially been postponed due to coronavirus scares, and the catalyst for it happening is hilarious, yet ridiculous, yet cringy, yet I probably shouldn't touch my eyes, actually, with all this stuff going on. Check out this clip of Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz making fun of the coronavirus precautions. After touching the entire table and the microphone, it turned out he was ill before the game. He was questionable and he did not play. Then it turned out that he actually himself has the coronavirus after he did this. Don't touch my eyes, I keep forgetting, sorry. Also today, President Trump announced that he's going to have a travel ban on Europe, I guess with the exception of UK it looks like, and I'm sure more information to come. And it seems like that's gonna last 30 days when it is implemented, and I'm sure we'll have updates about what's going on. First off, I'm really disappointed I love the NBA. It's definitely something fun to do, especially if we're not traveling as much, and now we can't even watch that. Also, Tom Hanks suspiciously announced right after President in Trump's address that he came down with coronavirus in Australia via Twitter post. It's all very bizarre. I don't buy into the fear mongering. I don't buy into the hype. I think a positive attitude always makes you more healthy than a negative one. But I will say, like I said on my earlier stream, I would be prepared. I'd get food, water, because it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what you think about the virus itself. If the government decides to quarantine your area or enforce a travel ban in your city or your state or your community, it's not going to matter what you think of the virus or how deadly or not deadly it is for you or others what's gonna matter is you're not allowed to travel and you might not want to leave the house that's my thoughts so i would be safe regardless of what you think about it and one thing that i want to add that nobody's talking about i know this is taboo or you're not supposed to say it or nobody cares or they can carbon date the virus so they know where it came from sure 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 i just find it very suspicious in wuhan this is january 6 2018 China's first biosafety level four lab has been put into operation in Wuhan, central China's Hubei. It is capable of experimenting with highly pathogenic microorganisms. The lab will conduct research in antivirus drugs and vaccines. Okay. This is also from 2018. Take a look at the largest virus bank in Asia. Wuhan Institute of Virology in central China's Hubei province preserves more than 1,500 different strains of virus. Very interesting. I hopefully you guys have good security and don't let one of those 1,500 viruses out. I'm not saying they did, but as a citizen with the First Amendment right to free speech, I think I still have it on the internet. It's a bit of a red flag to me, but who am I? I'm not the one handling all these viruses. All the way around, regardless of what you believe, if you think it's overhyped, underhyped, we're overprepared, we're underprepared, I'm not qualified to tell you that, but I would be prepared personally because it seems like from left to right, from President Trump to Mike Pence to the World Health Organization and more, it seems that they're taking this very, very seriously. And now that we have travel bans, shutdown of sports, this is unprecedented. We have festivals shutting down, industry shutting down we've never seen anything like this at least i have in my time so regardless of what i think or what you think people are taking this very seriously and i just want to say in italy right now they're quarantining about 10 million or so people in one of their areas and it's a total nightmare you could guess if you live there and you're not allowed to travel I'm not trying to be a fear monger at all. I'm just saying it looks like it's out of my control, your control, and our opinions control about what the United States government, President Trump, the police force, et cetera, et cetera, decide to do about this coronavirus epidemic or pandemic. That's my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section. Hopefully it's a good comment and you can get top comment. Have a beautiful day and don't stress out, don't fear. That only brings your immune system and energy down. High vibrations, high energy, be happy. And being prepared is not the same as being scared. Have a good day. I'll be back with more videos tomorrow.